Before I get started with this, I have to give a shout out to Craig J because he actually sent me an article related to what I'm about to talk about. And I also have to apologize at the same time because the article that he sent me, I wasn't sure if it was a legit article because when I looked it up, I couldn't find anything at that time when he sent it, which wasn't that far back. It was probably earlier in the week about what I'm about to discuss until I came across something that actually backed up what he sent me. So this wasn't such a thing of um, I didn't believe what he sent. It's the fact that I needed some validity behind it. But now I have it and now I can speak on it. And this is probably the first time I've talked about Benjamin Crump as a topic of discussion outside of me mentioning his name and how he's not to really be trusted considering we don't know like his track record as far as wins with cases and everything like that. Him and Slee's merit. But basically, if y'all remember, I did a story about a young girl by the name of Nakia Crawford who was killed in a drive by. And by the way, the, an update on that is I believe they have caught the other two people that were involved with her shooting. Because remember, I did a video talking about the people who did kill her. And I believe they have found the other two, one of them being the main shooter. So they all, as far as I know, are in custody right now. But the focus right now is on Benjamin Crump, because as you know, this guy is a ambulance chaser. He's like the black male version of Gloria Allred. Anytime he finds a story or a case he wants to attach himself to that where it involves black people, he will do it. Sleaze Merritt is the same way. Well, now that people have learned that the shooters or the people involved with Nakia Crawford's death are black, it has come out from the family that he has backed away from it. I said, this actually could have been a case he probably could have actually won for the family. And it was a real cut and dry case right then and there. And he probably would have won. That could have been his first win. But he backs up from them because he found out the shooters were black. What a scumball thing, a scumball, a scumbag thing to do. So he just left this family high and dry because he just felt that he was that he didn't want to represent it because the shooters were black. He is probably one of the worst people. Probably one of the worst people ever to leave this family high and dry after he see this is why no one should work with him. Nobody should ever work with him. Because, like I said, he's an ambulance chaser. What makes him any different than Gloria Allred? You know, she ambulance chases going after black men. This guy's just ambulance chasing just to be a clown chaser at this point. So now her family, hopefully they can find a decent lawyer that will actually help them in their time of need. Huh, let me read this. It's, a, it's been more than a week since 18-year-old Nakia Crawford was shot and killed out while inside her car with her grandmother at an Akron intersection. Her family visibly pained, gathered inside the house of prayer for All People Church on Monday morning to urge the suspected killer, 17-year-old Adarius Black, to surrender, which by now he already has done, while also denouncing the lawyer who said he was representing them. Family members expressed their love for Crawf of Crawford, her sweet nature, and thanked the public and law enforcement for support. Later, when asked about civil rights attorney ben Benjamin Crump, who represents the families of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and Ahmaud Arbery, who all three of them, with those three, involved white a white person killing them. See, he was all on board when it was assumed to be a white person because that's what the uh, I think they said the grandmother had said at first. But then when it came out, it was three black individuals who were involved. Now he backs away that and he just basically exposed himself. He said last week announced he was representing the kids family. Her parents and said Crump distanced himself from their quest for justice. When authorities announced the alleged killer wasn't white, they called him a fake. Well, they would be pretty much accurate on that. He's been basically after the publicity. Nakia's father, Nick Crawford, said he set this up and he bailed on us on this conference we're having right now. Crump issued the following statement after the news conference. He says, My heart goes out to Nakia Crawford's family, who endured the ultimate grief in losing a precious child. After learning of this tragedy, my firm offered our support to ensure that identifying Nakia's killer was treated as a top priority. Based upon testimony from several witnesses suggesting the killer was white, we immediately 
started the process of advocating for a federal hate crime investigation. As we now know that her killers have been identified as black, it's clear her murder does not meet the definition of a hate crime and a DOJ investigation is not warranted. The fa this fact does not change my passion to support her family through their grief. I will continue to lend my voice to see that her killers are brought to justice and to urge local authorities to prosecute them to the fullest extent of the law. He just basically said in so many words he was only there to clout chase, like her father suggested. The family was accompanied at the press conference by Pastor R. Stacey Jenkins of the House of Prayer for All People Church. Nick Crawford addressed the alleged killer directly. Your life is over. Your life is over as you know it. So you might as well turn yourself in. You can't do nothing that you thought you can do. You might as well turn yourself in instead of living a nightmare that you live in right now. Turn yourself in. The police are watching. The streets are watching you. You will be found. So you might as well just get it over with. They said their daughter didn't know the alleged shooter, but are questioning why, if it was a case of mistaken identity, which police believe she was shot more than once. If it's a mistaken identity, you're not going to shoot nobody more than once when you know that you shot the wrong person. You're not going to continue to shoot. You're not, said her mother, Lizette Williams. Well, first off, I definitely am glad that they have her father out there. Because, you know, usually they will not go and talk to the dad. They will always put the mother up there or someone else other than the father who's probably another woman. And they tend to do that a lot. But I'm glad that they have put the father out there so he can give his piece about this whole situation. But as for Benjamin Crump, we all knew what kind of person he was. That's all we keep telling people. Stop asking for help from this man. Because he is only there to secure his little duffel bag. And as far as I know, he. As far as I know, he hasn't won any of his cases. I can't remember a case that he has won. We first learned of him back during Trayvon Martin. And that was back in 2012. And he managed to attach himself to everybody's incidents. And never wins one case. But the father was right in calling this man a fake because that's exactly what he is. He is only there to benefit and line his own pockets. And I bet you, Benjamin Crump, he will get paid whether or not he wins or loses. In this case, even while losing, he still wins while the family is still out there trying to seek justice. And that is messed up. But that's just the kind of person that he is. And there's many Benjamin Crumps out there. Not just him. He's just the face of it right now.